안녕하세요, 여러분들. Hello and welcome to episode 40 of Learn Korean with David. Today, we've got three things we're going to cover. One, and the first one is, nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. I know we haven't covered yet, but after we meet somebody, we always say, like, 만나서 반가워요. So 만나서 is like, to meet, like, I met you. 반가워요 is like, nice to. So we've got, 만나서 반가워요. 만나서 반가워요. 만나서 반가워요. A little faster, that's 만나서 반가워요. 만나서 반가워요. 만나서 반가워요. And again, usually we'll hear it in the basic conversation like, Oh, 안녕하세요. 네, 안녕하세요. 전 데이비드예요. 어, 만나서 반가워요. That's the basic situation we'll hear it in. And this again is used in business, it's used in daily life, and it's used all the time. So we have 만나서 반가워요. There's also a more formal way, which is 만나서 반갑습니다. Which again is the more formal way it's still used by more of the older generations, but it's still very nice to know. So that's 만나서 반갑습니다. 만나서 반갑습니다. 만나서 반갑습니다. A little faster, that's 만나서 반갑습니다. 만나서 반갑습니다. 만나서 반갑습니다. The next one we'll learn is, what does this mean? So what does this mean is like, 무슨 뜻이에요? So 뜻 is like the meaning, and 무슨 is what. So it's in the end it comes out to, what does this mean? So that's, 무슨 뜻이에요? 무슨 뜻이에요? 무슨 뜻이에요? A little faster, that's 무슨 뜻이에요? 무슨 뜻이에요? 무슨 뜻이에요? So anytime we're talking about anything, if we didn't understand or if we want to know what it is, we can ask like 무슨 뜻이에요? Now we can change 뜻 out. So instead of saying meaning, we can also say like 무슨 말이에요? What do you mean? But it's like, what are you saying? And it's actually in a kind way if our tone is in that way. So, 무슨 말이에요? 무슨 말이에요? 무슨 말이에요? A little faster, that's 무슨 말이에요? 무슨 말이에요? 무슨 말이에요? Now, the last thing we're going to learn is just a little. Now, I should have covered this when we talked about, like, I don't speak Korean well, or can you speak English? And, you know, when we hear, like, 아, 난 한국말 못해요, which is like, I don't speak Korean, or I can't speak Korean, we can also say, like, 난 한국말 조금 할수 있어요. So, 조금 is a little. So, again, that's 조금. 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 And we can use 조금 with like, oh, 난 한국말 조금 할수 있어. I can speak a little bit. Or 조금만 주세요. It's like, just give me a little bit. Now, a lot of times too, we'll hear this many different ways, but usually we'll hear it with food, with drinks, or when we're asking for favors and help. So, ah, uh, 조금만 기다려 주세요. It's like, just wait a little bit. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, Feel free to leave a review or, you know, leave what you think about this podcast wherever you're listening to it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to send me an email at learnkoreanwithdavid at gmail.com. And don't forget to check out our Instagram, which is learnkoreanwithdavidig. I will get it updated, so just keep an eye out for that. But, again, I thank you guys for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. 다음에 봐요.